out to go on a morning walk. We had uh, an amazing drive last night, a sunset drive. We saw rhinoceros, elephants across the road, giraffes that were eating, monkeys that were just playing around on the rocks. Saw lots of impala, inyala, kudus. It was amazing, lots of bird life as well. So we're hoping to see some similar wildlife this morning. It's a lot cooler because the sun hasn't come up yet. It'll come up in about an hour's time. Um, but yeah, it's gonna take us three hours to go for a walk. So we're gonna head to the reception area now, get on the bus and be taken to the start of the walk, which will last for approximately an hour and a half and then head back to the resort. Let's go. to sort of have, have an idea of what to expect as far as other animals are going to react to. Um, we're driving around in the vehicles, you get quite close to them and you'll, you'll have noticed that they ignore you a lot of the mm -hmm. time. You know, so you know, the big difference between being out here and foot and in the vehicle is that they, they'll be very aware of us. Mm -hmm. okay. um, in most cases animals pick us up, they'll see us a mile away, smell us, hear us and move away. They'll run off. When we walk we don't talk at all. Uh, um, so, so, you know, you often get the impression that people are wondering how come you guys are allowed to talk but we don't talk, you know, but it's not because we just want to be the only ones who talk, we are listening all the time, so, and we're listening for the smallest sounds, so if you can ask you guys not to whisper either, it's that. Um, but yeah, if anything, we'll just you guys, give us either a click of the fingers or a short whistle or pssst, the easy one, to just get our attention so we can, so we can stop and chat about something. One of us will usually move off just a little bit so we can secure the area and the other one will chat to you guys about. Yeah, whatever it is. Pretty much the most important thing out here is not to run. So we don't run under any circumstances. So if we do get charged by an animal, um, which is quite rare, which is very rare, and even if it doesn't look like it's going to stop, don't run. Stay behind us. Okay? Black rhino are they're famous for being more aggressive than the white rhino. Um, and the joke is the cheesy joke is this is why, because they'd better poop this off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is this is actually very cool. I mean there's maybe in the world two thousand, three thousand black rhino left, and we've got um, maybe five hundred, eight hundred in Kruger. So mm -hmm. In 20,000 square kilometers, the so just even see sign is special. Mm -hmm. They're carnivores, this little guy. They'll eat no, they eat the and lice and stuff off yeah, the Little fish as well. Oh, right. and birds, they'll snap when birds come for a drink. Yeah, kind of thing. These guys, their defense mechanism is to release like a skunk. They release the smell, that's horrible. So that's it for Sakuza. We're going to head down to Birkendal now. And I'm just having a sit by the river and just check out the river Sabi. And then when it's about a couple of hours drive down to Birkendal, which will be there for one more night. So this is the view.
After a morning of driving, we've arrived at Pretoriuskop, which is um, named after one of the four trekker leaders. So we've got Pretorius is one of them. Um, so we're just here to have a bit of a lunch break and then we're going to keep heading on to Bergendal. But yeah, this morning we saw some amazing, um, amazing activity out in Kruger Park. We saw uh, elephants playing around in the water and mating, um, giraffes feeding. Um, yeah, it's been a crazy morning. Beautiful, beautiful animals just doing it, doing their own thing. So yeah, we'll have a bit of a break here and then we'll get back on the road. sightings for Birkendal and then I just found out later yesterday afternoon that the reason why they don't mark the rhinos is for poaching reasons so they're not easily located well I've got the sand parks key let's go check out our accommodation look at this thing one of these African huts let's go see what we've got number 71 Woohoo! Outdoor area! Whee. Ooh la la! Check that out! So it's 5.30 in the afternoon, we've just unpacked our bags, quick wardrobe change and we're going to head to the watering hole and see what's going on down there animal wise. rhino walk enter at your own risk they say have a look at this on the other side of the fence super early this morning and we're rewarded by a lot of sightings this morning with giraffe and zebra just crossing the road and following uh, each other 
um, and also just behind me we've actually it's what is it it's 6 30 in the morning and we've just stopped um, at a little picnic spot and we spotted some hyena well a mother hyena with her two cubs just up here it's literally like less than 100 meters away and here we are at a little picnic spot just gonna have a bit of a, a coffee and uh, top up of the energy then when to get back on the road um, but yeah it's an amazing warning for uh, sightings of the wildlife here